team just shows that there's so much versatility, there's just so much more to them than just this sing single composition. I'd say this is not going to be a rollover. I don't think this is going to be a stomp. I think what we've seen from Chinese Taipei lends itself to these guys being very mechanically skilled. So I don't think this should be a rollover. I think guys like Zonda and Danny, uh, Little Titans, uh, are going to be pretty darn scary. So do keep an eye on them. All right, well, let's hop right back into the game and check out the action. Thanks, Rachel. I love Mitch's prediction there. He's like, I don't think it's going to be a stomp. And I, I, he's, he's like, both sides. I love the way he played that. I, I, that's kind of the prediction I would make. As uh, Just to kind of fill you guys in on the situation with the circumstances, you know, the fairest option was to restart the map. So uh, we're going to be playing things off as though Finland you know, did not get that last point. So it's going to give both teams a fair opportunity here. So it'll be Chinese Taipei on the defense, Finland back on the offense with Taimu on the Widowmaker. What we see from Finland is that they will be running that double pickoff combo once more. If Taimu can't get done, Himsi is going to try to get done as well. So big threats here for Finland as they try and set up with a quick 6v5. It'll be Taimu taking pretty much the same route he took the first time and he's going to go up top trying to connect with a shot and he sees the Reinhardt shield there, can call it out to his teammates so they know what to expect. But the defensive stand up on the bridge, pretty standard here on Temple of Anubis, and you see Taimu just searching for players around the corner. Everybody on Chinese Taipei knows he's with the Widow, doesn't want to poke out, but right there you see Himsi getting a nice hook. Linkser and Co. finish off Zonda, and now you look to see Finland just take advantage of that early pick. It's two picks here for Himsi as Himsi just rolling right forward. This is where he's in his element. There's not too much to stop him here at this point. Hook is off cooldown once more. If the 6v4, soon the be a 6v3. Finland is just rolling through, doing whatever they want, and this should be a very quick first cap indeed. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a nice job picking up these kills. They just got to get on the point. It's going to be Danny and Lugo still alive for Chinese Taipei, and Zonda comes off the spawns, which is over to Reaper. I was going to say he's doing some nice things, but Taimu quickly ends his life there with a fantastic headshot. Nah, he's going to use his ultimate, knows exactly where the players are coming from. Gets immediately pounced on by Winston. It's going to be Finland and everybody getting on the point, though. They are pushing strong. They look to be able to take this first point here on Temple of Anubis. The Chinese Taipei just conceding this. They know that this point is done. And now here's the question is, will Finland, by winning that fight rather decisively, will they be able to go in here and take the next point just decisively? They will have a bit of an advantage. This is sort of the mini snowball here on Anubis, where your best chance at taking point B is right after taking point A. So Finland now with the window of opportunity as they move in versus Chinese Taipei. Yeah, now time to on that first point. Three eliminations, zero deaths, 2,700 damage. So doing a lot for the Finland side of things. And we'll see if they stick with Widow. You know, uh, they see if they can break through. It's a little bit of what I'm worried about from the previous time is when they have Taimu on Widow, he's able to get a pick. How are they going to engage fast? Who's going to be in there to pick up those Torton eliminations on the point? Well, he just got picked by the other sniper, the one known as Ana. Eddie Boss takes him out. Himsi right now looking for pick offs, both two down on the Finland side. They sound there at kind of an inopportune time. This isn't great for them. They're already down people. Even if they get a few picks here, X, they're not going to have the critical mass needed to take this point. No, and uh, for Finland, they're just going to back out. They're going to have a nano boost to work with, a whole hog. But they have a lot to use here on this next push. Side of Chinese Taipei, though, they do have the Death Blossom and Blizzard. So look to see when the nano boost from Zappis comes in for Finland. Danny throw down that Blizzard, stop that nano boost to target right in his tracks. Right, and love options here for Chinese Taipei, but Taimu able to take down Danny immediately. Sets up a 65, but Taimu gets taken down in turn by Eddie Boss. Sniper v Sniper battles intensifying here. 5v5 as Finland tries to make the most of this, they roll right in. Yeah, and it's going to be Zonda putting down some nice damage here with Reaper, just cutting down the opponents, able to take Mafu out, and just look at this little flying coming here, taking out Himzi. Fantastic play by Chinese Taipei, just sectioning off targets, picking people off one by one. And here's the thing, even though Finland is starting to bank their war chest right now, your ultimate that they're missing here is certainly Sound Barrier. Take a look at Chinese Taipei. They're loaded for Bear as well, and that means it's pretty unlikely that even if Finland uses all their ults here, to have a flawless victory, gonna be really rough unless Taimu can get that early pick off. Oh, and it is so dangerous for Lil Go to try and peek him, and you no, know, even Danny trying to peek him is May, and oh, you, you eventually knew that was gonna happen with the way you th saw things going. Taimu with a fantastic angle, just looking inside of the point, but the rest of his teammates in there, they're stuck in a Graviton Surge. Links are on the point, Nano boosted, he's going to fall, and it's gonna be Chinese Taipei getting a hold here. 
and that was the problem there for Finland, is that even getting the early pickoff from Taimu, there are so many ultimates up on the set of Chinese Taipei that to get through there and actually win in such a way that they could keep up momentum was going to be unlikely. But to their credit, they did drain a lot of resources out of Chinese Taipei, and we'll see now if Taimu can get pick. It might go way better for them this time. And do you think the side of Finland needs to change anything up, ZP? You know, uh, we see Taimu doing a nice shot, just putting down some shots, you know, connecting, getting some limbs here early, but they're not actually able to get on to the point to make anything happen. Do you think they need him to switch up here off of the Widow to try and take this one? Not yet. He has been able to get picks pretty consistently. Unfortunately, the ultimates of Chinese Taipei turned it the other way in the last fight. But if Taimu can consistently pick off a Lucio fight after fight, it's still worth running here as Finland pushes his out once more. Links are a third shatter on the ready. See if he can land with no, Zonda takes him right out to start things off. And now, Finland getting pushed back a bit. Yeah, and what happened there is you saw Taimu put a nice shot onto the enemy Zarya, and they just chased her underneath the bridge. But it was Chinese Taipei there in a perfect position. Zonda with the Reaper. He was able to pick up a few eliminations. And now it's going to force Finland back all the way up. Some nice shots there, though, by Taimu. Putting one hit into Lilgo, and still, Taimu's so accurate with Widow, just putting down so much damage. But you look, there's nobody there to follow this up. One thing that's starting to become a problem here is that Taimu has not been getting the pickoffs the last two runs. I do think Chinese Taipei is playing around the Widow pretty heavily. If Taimu doesn't get pickoff in this run, I would expect him to switch off as time. Well, there's three minutes left for Finland. It's not quite as much as they would like. They will change up something sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, if your Taimu use the ultimate here, if it works, I mean, you stick with the Widow, obviously, through the spawn. If not, you drop here. This is where you make the change. It's going to be Taimu opening things up with a big first blood there on the Lazy Titan. And you see the Earth Shatter come in from Baby Knight, and he's going to be able to knock down one, but Linkser comes straight through, and you have Zonda with that Death Blossom. Can he make anything happen? Big kill there, taking out Himzy, getting Roadhog out of the way, and here comes the Death Blossom, able to pick up two. Zonda going huge on the point for Chinese Taipei. I think this is where we're going to see Finland swap things up. Taimu will probably go here to a McCree, to a Reaper, something that does more damage, and there it is. Taimu will be swapping here to the Reaper. They want consistency. They have two minutes here, actually. They have about three, four cracks here at this apple, but Overall, uh, Chinese Taipei coming up with a really good defense with the Blizzard up for the next fight. Things can be a little bit rough here for Finland. Yeah, not just fantastic ult usage, too, out of Chinese Taipei. Uh, Dandy will have the Blizzard, so see if he uses that in this next fight or whether he decides to save it for when that nano boost comes in. And he's trying to section off the players here of Finland. And here comes the Blizzard, and he's got a lot of Finland players inside of it. There goes Sinny. It's going to just freeze the Reinhardt, move on, let his teammates finish off that target. Very nice hole again from Chinese Taipei, and now they're just trying to finish off these last few members of Finland going on the hunt here. They have Himzy blocked, fantastic wall, and now you'll see they'll probably start to back up ZP, get set up. They don't want to get too over-aggressive here and get picked off coming off the spot. So keeping in mind that Finland really does need to kill almost everyone here without suffering losses in turn, their best chance of winning this is the window that they're going to have between Taimu and Zappa. Zappa's will have the nano boost on the Taimu. He's not going to have a death blossom, but still really, really effective let Taimu go in there. If that doesn't work out for them, and if or if Himsey doesn't get an early pick, I can't see Finland taking this point. So Finland, that's what to look onto here, and maybe Moffat can set them up here with this Graviton as well. Yeah, and I think uh, they'll have the Graviton, obviously, and they will also have Zappa's with the nano boost here in just a second. You'll see they have a lot of ultimates to work with. This is their best chance to take this one. It's going to be Mapu using that Graviton, and he actually falls down. It's going to be Linkser coming through. A big Earth Shatter there, able to knock down three members of Chinese Taipei, and it's just Zonda trying to stay alive for Chinese Taipei. Big Death Blossom there. He's only able to get one player with it and just kills being exchanged inside of the point. And it's going to be Finland coming out on top. And a lot of these engagements, Himzi in the back trying to stay alive, has Mapu there with him. And Mapu doing a fantastic job applying those barriers to his teammate, keeping him up. And you see Zappis just putting down some shots there with Anna. And now you see Finland. They have control of the point ZP. It's whether they can keep this hold. The problem is keeping control. They have suffered some casualties here, and the defensive response are coming in. They have not gotten a single tick here, so even though they won the fight, Anubis with its advantage of defense means that Chinese Taipei is still getting the ability to swirl onto point, but Taibu coming in. The Death Blossom picks up too. Finland still holding strong. Their reinforcements have come in, and Finland at the last moment here, well on their way to capturing this point. They have a full six back and in here, and Chinese Taipei is on the ropes. Oh, it's a disaster for Chinese Taipei. They use the nano boost on that last fight. They gave it to their Winston, got sucked up in the Graviton Surge. Now they don't have it to come here on the attack here, trying to take the point back, and that ends up being their downfall. 
the end of the day, and it's going to be Finland. They're able to get both points, do not have any time left. So it was a good defensive stand from Chinese Taipei there in the first half. You really, I mean, when you look at some of the stats, you know, Eddie Boss had a fantastic first half for Chinese Taipei. So Zonda do some big things there on the Reaper. So a good first half there for Chinese Taipei. It was great for them, and really one key part that was kind of cool to watch is that Taimu, of course, one of the best Widowmaker players in the game when he does decide to play Widow, but Eddie Post on the Ana was applying a lot of counter pressure to him, took him out multiple times in those Ana v Widow fights. So Eddie Post was a big reason as to why Taimu didn't have quite as much flexibility in room as he normally would have when playing that offensive Widowmaker. You get a shot of some of the players here. Mafu with a fantastic hat. I believe that is a Daffy Duck hat, if I'm not mistaken. I have not watched Looney Tunes in uh, God knows how many years, I believe. That's like what he's going for there with that look. Uh, I don't have one of those hats. I would like one, though, if uh, he can refer me where to get one. But looks like uh, going into the second half, is there anything you're looking to see from Finland? From Finland here, I think they're going to be playing a more secure defense here. Where they're, not, I think they were going to be a little bit more aggressive at points. But here, I think they just want to try and drag things out. Where even if they lose point A, they want to drag enough time out of this so that they don't lose point B and they don't have to play for a draw. So Finland on defense uh, will go with Taimu on Winston, just showing how deep his hero pool is here. I mean, from Widow to Winston, and we know about all the DPS characters he can play. And you'll have Himzi staying true on that Roadhog. It's been so effective, able to get those early <laughs> first picks up. Taimu not doing a good job hiding the fact that he will be playing Winston this one, as uh, he walks directly up to the Chinese Taipei spawn. Dora, well, as probably mentioned, not ideal. As mentioned, uh, Taibu doesn't really play tanks all that often in his normal roles in normal competition. But here in this exhibition, people flex a little bit more, and Taibu going to do his best Miro impression here as he uses Winston to create space here for Finland and not let Chinese Taipei get the engagements that they're looking for. And it'll be Chinese Taipei going with Reaper here on Zondo. So effective on the defensive end. I like the switch here on offense because what that will happen is when they engage, they'll be able to get in and actually have somebody to burn down these tank players. And you see Danny getting a hook of his own there at the beginning, though. It's Taimu able to take two out on Winston. It's going to be Himzi getting one as well. Danny having to back up, waiting for his teammates to come off the spawn. They are just throwing all types of stuff at him. Finally gets a hook on a Taimu. <laughs> Not enough, though. He is going to fall on the early first push domination there by Finland of Chinese Taipei. That now Chinese Taipei has to go back to the drawing board here, ZP. They do have to go back to the drawing board, and what you can expect from Finland here is more of the same, where they are going to be more aggressive on defense. Taimu has already built up a primal range, which means that he's going to be even more aggressive here on this defense. He's going to get in the face of Chinese Taipei, and he's going to be creating all the space for his team as they sit back comfortably behind Linksu's Rhine Shield and just lay and poke damage and poke damage. You have the Winston leaping in, but here it comes. Nano boosted Winston on the way. Yeah, and he just gets right to the back line, able to take out the Chinese Taipei Lucio player, so that is a huge play there by Taimu, and that is going to make it very difficult. And look, he's even just going for the Ana player, but a fantastic Zarya shield comes in and just keeps Eddie Boss alive. So Eddie Boss able to heal his teammates, his team's Roadhog through that as well. So nice play there by Chinese Taipei. And now they're looking to go on the offensive. And you see Linkser, he's going to back up, wait for some teammates, and then Finland's going to maybe make one more attempt to hold the CP. It's going to be really hard for Finland to get back in on this. And it carries risk. Because think about this here, X. If they go in right now and it fails, Chinese Taipei will have a golden world to second. But they're going in. Linkser drops the earth chair. Doesn't quite get as much as he's looking for. Chinese Taipei just bends back. They haven't lost anyone yet here in this fight as Taimu takes out lazy time, but it's back and forth. This could be risky for Finland if it doesn't pay off. Yeah, now Zonda's gonna be that nano-boosted Reaper inside the point, just doing all types of work here. Uses that <laughs> reform, just dodging Taimu there, letting his Winston come through. And here is where things get dangerous, EP, because Chinese Taipei takes that point. Now they have the opportunity to push through. They have the opportunity to push through. Finland is not gonna be able to set up properly here, and this is the risk that Finland took. It has not paid off here just yet. Chinese Taipei with a great opportunity to put this map away, get the second point, and here they go. Groudson Surge is on the way, and Zonda just feasting right now. Yeah, and the Reaper just said they have, Finland has had no answer for this. I mean, Zonda has just gone absolutely huge for Chinese Taipei. Just putting down tons of damage on Linkser. He's gonna be able to pick up two, and this would be a huge upset here in our first map in this series. If Chinese Taipei were able to hold on just a little bit longer, you see, this is gonna be Lucio inside of the point trying to stay alive. It's gonna be Chinese Taipei picking up some kills, but here comes Taimu. He's able to get to through the nano boost and just force Chinese Taipei back. So it looks like Finland going to be able to get a hold here. It's gonna be two ticks though for Chinese Taipei. 
and yet X, the damage was done here. You take a look at Chinese Taipei. They got two thirds of the way to where they need to go, and they have five minutes left remaining. Finland is going to have to tighten up big time if they want to hold for this. It's not impossible. We've seen teams hold here time and time again, but it's still going to be very, very difficult. Chinese Taipei, they're just in a great position. No, I mean, five minutes is an eternity on this map, right? I mean, uh, you, you can get inside there, and they did such a good job of that initial push, just getting those two ticks. They just do not need that much more. And you see Danny, he's going to be able to take out Taimu here at the beginning. Zonda going on top, going to set up a big Death Blossom opportunity. He drops down, though. Sees the enemy sound barrier come in, and the Blizzard does not use that Death Blossom. Smart play here from Zonda. Zonda does get poked down a little bit. Still only has that Death Blossom looking for his opportunity. Grounds on Surge is having Zonda just start spinning into Finland. Not quite the result he's looking for. Two members of Finland are down, but there's enough up that they should be able to keep stalling. This Mafu being a tank in all senses of the word has three kills here in this fight and is being a big impediment right now to Chinese Taipei trying to take this point. Oh, and it's Zavis just trying to keep Taimu alive and now just trying to defend the point. He's being just bombarded by all members of Chinese Taipei. Fantastic job by Zappis, able to stay alive. And you see Linkser switch over to that Tracer just to get inside of the point as fast as possible. He picks up one, but really it was just Zappis able to stay alive in there on that Ana. So, such a big play there for Finland. It was big on Finland, and you actually saw the coordination there between Mafu and Zappis, where Mafu, it's not, he doesn't get anywhere near enough credit for it, but he is one of the more survivable Zaryas in the game. Plays it really well, multi-talented player, and they were able to hold things in there for Finland as Chinese Taipei, they're coming out another push, they have a Graviton, but Lazy Titan has to be careful not to die before it even begins. Well, I mean, here's a perfect opportunity for Chinese Taipei, right? I mean, they have three ultimates to work with on the side of Finland, you have nothing up, so this is one where Chinese Taipei can really start to take advantage, and here comes Danny with the whole hog, they use the Graviton, and the Earth Shatter as well. You see players just dropping like flies for Finland. You see one sleeping on the ground. It's going to be Himzi on May. He's taken out. It's going to be another kill going in favor for Chinese Taipei. And they get on the point. And it looks like ZP. All links are just getting in on Tracer, just trying to stay alive. But it is not enough. It's going to be Chinese Taipei taking that second point. And now Chinese Taipei is set up beautifully to put themselves up one to nothing here in the series. All they need to do is come back around once more, capture point A, and that is going to be it. They will be the winners of Temple Anubis. Finland gonna have to dig real deep here on this defense, not lose a single team fight if they want to keep this even. And Danny on Roadhog has been absolutely massive. 38 and eight at the moment, 17,000 damage being done. So Danny doing a fantastic job on that hero, really turning the tides in his team's favor. Danny showing up with a good Roadhog. Of course, we are looking here more at Himzi to start things out, but Chinese Taipei saying, look, Himzi isn't the only person that can play a good Roadhog. We know we have one as well. Now we'll see what Finland goes with here on the defensive side of things. They are going to put Taimu on McCree. So that is a little bit of a change up from the first defensive side. They had an uh, ZP. What is the logic well, behind going with McCree here? The logic behind this is that Taimu is one of the most explosive playmakers in the game when he's on McCree. When you look at McCree's on the North American European side, there's really two equals to Taimu here in IDD, QD, and Sure4. But Taimu is definitely one of the heads of the Hydra. And any team has trouble getting through him. So Taimu looking to put his team on his back a little bit here with this McCree pick. Uh, a lot of pressure for Chinese Taipei on Zonda. He's been phenomenal up until this point, but trying to get his team a win here in the first map against Finland would be massive. And uh, you know, a lot of just the fact that he's going to be the one that's going to be able to pick up a lot of kills, just get in and shred down this three tank lineup. And see, just taking down some shots at range, waiting for his teammates to push up and get onto the enemy bridge, just trying to force the side of Finland to that lower ground. And for now, Chinese Taipei is being pushed back a bit. You take a look at Finland, they're not running the defensive Winston where they're going super deep with it, but they're laying in good poke damage. Taimu able to take down Baby It's two quick kills, but the hook comes in, and Taimu getting saved by the Zarya Shield and the Sleep Dart just rolls forward, and this will be a full wipe here for the side of Finland. You know, a lot of the times, like, you know, you see, like, we watch a McCree play, and they're just putting down some shots at range. This is the complete opposite. Taimu just knows how great his accuracy and aim is, and he's able to just get into the opponent's faces and just take players out as McCree. But he made a terrible mistake there. He went way too far up. There was no need for that. It was a positioning error here by Taimu. And now, he's, that is a long run back from the spawn all the way here. This is a big opportunity for Chinese Taipei as they're going to roll in here on the 6v5. 
Yeah, and it's going to be Whole Hog coming out from Himzy, but he is quickly putting a Graviton Surge. You see Zonda's going to be able to pick up two. This is a big opportunity. Chinese Taipei getting closer towards the point. Zonda's going to be able to pick players up. Mafu trying to stay alive. As Zarya, he's going to fall as well. And you can see there's nobody around for Finland, and it's going to be Chinese Taipei taking the point, ZP. Unfortunately, if you're going to say a main reason for that, aside from Chinese Taipei playing well, Taimu just went far, far too deep. It was not necessary, and it gave Chinese Taipei the opening they needed to win that game. So it was a big play from Chinese Taipei to get through.